Hey everyone, welcome back to Judo Highlights. Today, the top epons from 2021. These are the best, doesn't get better than that. And to begin, we're starting with Abe Hifumi. And I think this is pretty rare on the international scene. Keo! Keo! Sori Suri Komigoshi, All Sotagari Mix. But yes, a big, powerful epon by Abe. Pantano from Italy, probably the only person the entire year to do this kind of a kataguruma, a standing kataguruma. Look at that, such strength to be able to do this and just to find the opportunity, very, very skillful Yipong. You're alive now from Uzbekistan. And just look how he turns this Ochigari into a wonderful Uchimata. Such agility and to get an Yipong from it, fire out of the mat like that, that's amazing. Another different kind of Uchimata now from Nozadzi, from Georgia. Just look at the lift he gets. Very, very big Epon. And a similar one from the Russian, Karl Murzaev. Very, very big Epon as well. A unique one now, Uchimata Skashi by Sasaki, one of the breakout stars of 2021. You don't see Uchimata Skashi like that done very often. And Vieru now, showing us his Epically fast and powerful Tayotoshi. Not many people do it like him. Not many people have the leg speed that he has to kind of fake the Kosoto and jump in like that. Here's Nagayama setting up his Uchimata. It's a beautiful little little Kosoto. There it is there. Makes Mungai think he's gonna go backwards again, but ends up going forwards. That's how you get a reaction. Some quick Ashiwaza now before we get into the big Uranagis, the big pickups. But this Ashibarai, right at the start of the match too, perfectly executed. Here's another one from Shamilov. Probably have to call it a Hizaguruma, but it's not really up by the Hiza, the knee, but whatever. Fabulous piece of Ashiwaza. Let's have another look. Bam! It's these kind of throws that makes Judo so great. Right, here we go. Some big throws from the big man himself, Adamian from Russia. And just... Just look at the airtime he gets in this other angle. So incredible. Here's another one for you. World number one. So I'm definitely gonna do a video on Adamian coming up, but just look at the skills he has. It's it's unbelievable. Greg Lashvili now, and he's got a different kind of Uranage. Kind of likes to counter people as they go in and get themselves tied up in bad grips. But look at that, he just he just biffed his opponent over. Look at this. Bam! So Griglash really, really, really nice. Uranage as well. Next up we've got a front Uchimata. Yaguranage. I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, start to ban this technique with the new rules. But I'll be talking about the new rules in another video, guys. Tokyo Olympic bronze medalist. Let me know what you Sobotar think. Sendo Chur now. And Sendo Chur. Really, really high level. Morote Seoinage here. Watch the feints. Watch the little footsteps. That's some real high level stuff. He jumps in there so well, he probably didn't need it, but he did it anyway. Next up, I love this perfect counter. Just read totally well by the Mongolian. He just knows he was going to come in for, a, for an Uchimata or something. Squish the hand down, grab below the belt and off he was. Bouchard with a fabulous Kataguruma. Seeing this a lot more these days. People using the elbow to go underneath the leg and get lift on the Kataguruma. Got another one from Papanashvili coming up. Very similar here. Watch the left elbow of Papanash really, right under the thigh. It's definitely intentional, but totally legal under the current rule sets. Have a look one more time. Look at that. Switches grips to have two hands on one sleeve and then jumps in with the elbow underneath the leg. A reverse Kataguruma here by Shamilov as well. So it has more than a little bit of Newaza. He's got all the techniques, Shamilov. Great, great judoka from Russia. Solomon Nijay now with a Yoko Otoshi or Tani Otoshi. But just watch what he does with the feet. 
He follows Blue on the retreat. That's really high level stuff. Couple of really big all sorts of goodies now. Starting off with Souza from Brazil. Boom, so powerful. Dalish Philly now from Georgia. Thanks for the wink. And look at this big, powerful. Osoto, Osoto Otoshi. Because he has to take two stabs at it. He's got double sleeves as well. Such a powerful, powerful throw. And the throw silver with that as well. Here's another one. Big man throwing big man. And look at that. He just went flying. But this one's my favorite from Pilalov. Watch what he does with his head and his shoulder to set it up. I mean, they have almost identical grips. But to move the head, lock in the shoulder like that, and then go for it. Al Nahas, he didn't know what hit him. Look at this. I mean, the leg barely did that much. It was, it was all mostly upper body and good Kazushi. So well done. Tani Otoshi now. And a real unique one. You don't see it done uh, with this grip. But just look at the... The Kosoto to start the movement. Another Hizaguruma. This time up around the knee. Getting that big reaction at the edge of the mat there. And next up, we're going to have a look at some Ashiwaza fakes. Really, really nicely done by the Mongolian here. Faking the Osoto and then going for a, a Kosoto. Really, really well done. Look at the fake, the big reaction. And then the drive, perfectly well done. This time, instead of going for the, the Kosoto, the Kosoto Gake, he's going for an Ashibarai. Really works well at the lighter weights. People often fly easier down there. And this time, this has got to be one of the, the greatest uh, battles of the year. Both guys looking to throw. Gaitiro kind of looking for a pickup or a counter. Doesn't get it. And then Minku. Look at that. Just beautiful Kochi Makikomi. Gaitero just... He, he, he was thinking about too many things at once. Didn't see the little fake into it. Beautiful, beautiful work. Bobanov now from Uzbekistan. Uchi Gaishi. Not something you see done very often in that way. But he had the perfect grips for it. And now I love this one. Drops down for a Sode. And on the way up, a Kuriyashi Barai. Beautifully, beautifully done. Look at this. Stands up and just goes for it. Boom. Next up, we've got a lovely Hanegoshi. You don't see Hanegoshi that often on the circuit. I do think most people are going for Uchimasa. But this, to me, definitely looks like an intentional uh, Hanegoshi. This next one gives me vibes of uh, Keiji Suzuki. If you definitely remember his three-piece combo back in the day, there was a Sasai in there, so just a, a little bit of a level down, but two-piece combo, why not? Why not? Now this is definitely the Ippon that should have been, in my opinion. Probably one of the greatest Wazaris of all time. I mean, just listen to him. It's how is that not an Ippon? And the look on his face. Look at the lift, the power, the drive. Huge Ogoshi. Come on, you gotta give that Ippon. Similar story now, except properly called this time. Big, big Ogoshi. And in front of uh, the home crowd. Just listen to the French crowd go. They love it. Just watch his hip come across. This takes some real strength and coordination. Look at that. Huge Ippon. Speaking of huge, Katarina. Travis Stevens will be proud of this, how he feeds the hand across. But look at that big Ippon Seoinage with the leg on the outside. Beautiful work. This time a lovely Sode. Brilliant fake, fake on the right side. Fake with the Osoto and then turning into the left side for the Sori Surikumigoshi. And look at the reaction he gets. Huge, huge Ippon. This one, bit dangerous. Huge Ogoshi. I guess Blue tries to escape, but he's not getting out of this. Look at this. 
flicks the legs out of the way. You gotta get the legs out of the way before you can go in for those big techniques. This one I love, little Kosoto. And jumps in with the Morote Seoinage. Look at the Kosoto. Just stops him in his tracks. Makes his legs square up. He jumps in there. This one I just don't understand. This Ippon Seoinage, it's not traditional at all. He basically throws him with his hand on the wrist. It's quite insane, really. Look at that, and the lift he gets. Perfect, perfect placement with the leg as well to get the sweep at the end. Great Ippon. Here's another big one. A bit more traditional this time. Um, under the armpit. Gets the lapel. And then jumps straight in there. Boom. Look at the lift from the hip. Beautiful, beautiful work. This one, I love this one because uh, Bobanov, traditionally a right handed fighter, but he has these big techniques on the left side as well. And that weird, awkward grip that he does with his lapel hand. Very, very interesting. Seoi Otoshi here, but. Not much Otoshi is happening. Lots of flying is happening. Look at the elevation he gets. That is quite insane. Trapel now. And he's got a really, really interesting uh, drop down Sode Suri Komigoshi. Two hands on the one side. Kind of feeding a deep grip around the tricep. Here's another one I don't get. It's essentially a. Is it a one handed Sode Suri Komigoshi, but kind of near the armpit? That's insane. That's insane. Barely any grips at all. And to secure that Ippon is just fabulous. Becker now with a huge Koshiwaza, Makikomi. And I'm glad he got Ippon for this because a lot of the time he doesn't get Ippon for his techniques that should be an Ippon. This Sori Suri Komigoshi by Kubetsbov. Crazy Sori Suri Komigoshi. Because he sees the arm coming over the top and just grips and goes. Look at that, that's huge. This one, quite high level. Watch how he defends the top grip from blue. Defends it here, and then goes in immediately. So dealing with the grips and then jumping in for your attack. Beautiful judo there. Love this one. Goes in for the sode, but rolls off the, the other side, but pretty sure he knew what he was doing. Look at the speed that he jumps in there. That is a fast Sori Sori Komigoshi. Big Osotogari now. Two hands on the one side. And getting him as he's going backwards. Reminds me of Suzuki Keiji a little bit. Murao now with a bit of a shuffle into an Osoto. Lovely Osotogari here. Gotta love the little movements before they jump in there. The little shuffle to the side. This is important. Look at that, gets a reaction with it as well. And then jumps in there. Another big Osoto coming up. And the Mongolian just has just has the better grips. Big powerful grips. Deep sleeve grip up around the tricep and a high lapel grip. Perfect for a strong Osoto Gari. This one's wonderful as well. Jumps down for an Ippon Seoinage. And then goes in for the the Osotogari on the one side. A lot of lift on it. Come on, doesn't get better than that. That's that's awesome. Quick grip and go drop down Seoinage here. Super fast for a big heavyweight like this. Look at that white. <laughs> he couldn't do anything. Oh, Barak from Turkey now. With the big Ogoshi. And look at the hips and the controls. It looks like White was going to fall off the other side, but nope. He keeps it secure. Look at that. That's just so huge. Alright guys, so next up we've got two of my top Nawaza Ippons from the year. And then we're going to finish with my personal three favorite uh, Ippons of the year. It's kind of a personal preference, but I've saved them for the end. So if you're sticking around, uh, you'll get to see my, my three favorites. 
And I'll kind of go on to talk about why. Look at the Newaza from Sasaki. And I've chosen this because it's a scramble. You don't see this a lot in Judo. And it is two very, very high level technicians of the Newaza game. Sasaki and Cass. I mean, Cass is known for his Newaza. Nobody goes down there with him. But Sasaki, he thought, well, I can, I can do this. I can take you on down in the Newaza. And he does it with such pizzazz, such skill. Look at this Osaikomi. Vicious. Vicious Osaikomi. And Cass is just forced to wait until the timer runs out. So that's number one. And number two, this really, really interesting choke by Vante End. He's already got it locked up, and you can see that Becker, given us really, he knows what's happening. He really wants to avoid the turtle position. And Vantian just forces him back into it, and then once it's all over, once he's got his hands in there, and they're forced to turtle, because he's, he's just rolled them over into that position, locks in the legs, and look at the pressure. If anyone knows the name of that technique, let me know. So these are my three favorite Epons of the year. Shiraj really vs. Bobanov in the final. And this Ochigari was just sensational really. I mean, Bobanov made the mistake of going in there. Shiraz just really, he's got that hand around the back that he loves so much. And just a change of direction. It was just perfect, perfect execution. Wonderful Ochigari. I'm not a huge fan of Ochigari Epons. This is the only one in the entire video, but this one, uh, just, just perfect. Look at that. My second favorite Epon of the year, this one from Shamilov. And the Epon's insane. It's quite incredible, but actually the, what I like the most about it is the defense uh, leading up to it. So just watch what he's doing with his right hand defending the sode and then he just naturally gets his grip and jumps in there he wasn't thinking about that it was just it was all just a natural physical response and lastly my my favorite epon of the year i've talked about this before but greg lashvili on chuchi this i guess it's a, a kosotogake kind of like a beer hug but just look at the gripping and the ashiwaza and the Kazushi, and the grips again, and the free-flowing movement of it all. It's got to be one of the, the greatest combinations of grips that I've seen. Grips and Kazushi and Ashiwaza. It was just completely perfect. Anyway, guys, uh, those were the top bonds of 2021. Let me know what you think. If you're here at the 18-minute mark, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you guys in 2022.